Well, I have something definitely different for you this time. I know, I know, I say that every time, but this time really is different. A number of weeks ago, on my doorstep showed up a whole pile of HON3 rail car kits from, of all places, Argentina. These rail cars are from the Corentino Railroad, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is from the northwest corner of Argentina. This area was fertile land, willing workforce, but they couldn't get their products to market. So they built this narrow gauge railroad. Now, granted, there is lots of ups and downs and back and forth, and it wasn't developed yet, but because of the fertile land and the great potential, this little railroad did just fine. And being narrow gauge, of course, all the equipment was, well, small. That's what you have to run with narrow gauge. It eventually got to be a real railroad traveling vast areas of the northwestern corner of Argentina. Okay, moving along directly to the kit. Amazingly enough, this is a laser cut paper kit. This is a high density kind of cardboard, amazing stuff, and very, very complete directions. I was very pleased with the directions that came with it, and it's a very simple set of kits, but very complete. And the paper product, very interesting, not wood. With first class kits, they try to make it within scale. In other words, really fine, and sometimes, well, they make it a little too close. And this kit had a couple little problems like that. Now, these kits do not come with truck sets. Here's a suggestion if you want to buy some. And there's a number of different available on the market. And, of course, it does not also come with couplers. And here's another suggestion if you want to use these. And here you see one of the finished cars. And keep in mind that this is paper. Look at the detail for paper, laser-cut paper. This is not laser-cut wood. Wow, I was just amazed at how much detail they could put in. Now, I got a number of passenger cars and also a number of freight cars. I had so many cars, I wanted to try different kinds of coloring. Look at the detail. And I use my weathering powders on some and spray acrylic paint on others. And this paper product just took it all. Just did wonderful. Look at that detail. Wow, this is paper. And yes, okay, they're not the most detailed kits with lots of parts and stuff like that. But they sure came out nice. Oh, by the way, always try to make your cars a reason to be there. What are they doing? What are they carrying? So, what can your cars carry? What were they originally designed for? You have to decide. As you're building any kit, think about what the original car was designed to carry. Now, I had so many of these kits. Yes, well, some I liked better than others. I really liked the passengers. Uh, the freight came out okay, but the passengers came out just wonderful. I really had a lot of fun with these. And here you have the set of eight cars that were originally sent to me. What do you think? Pretty cool. HON3. What about your buddies? Do they have any of these? I like these car kits so much I decided, well, I'll make a special display stand for them. You know, something that looks good. Well, I got all my stuff out, and uh, I got my pins out, and I got my track out, and I started making a basic concept of what I wanted. But uh, then you gotta set the track. I like to set my track and my ballast at the same time. What you do is put some white glue, plain old Elmer's in this case, where you want to do it, and then you lay your track and your ballast on top, and then you put a lot of weight on it to keep it in place, because you want that track to stay in one place. And then it's time, okay, let's start putting stuff around. Where are things gonna fit? Let's see, okay, we got a train going here, uh, yeah, you know, get the idea. Now we do the same thing with the scenic detail. I put down a basic layer of white glue, and then you start putting on whatever you happen to want. Ah, the details. I love the details. How about a fence that's being built? Now, nothing has to be finished. Yeah, the you know. details. I love the details. How about, well, everybody tries to make their stuff look old. 
What about making your stuff look new? How about a brand new fence? And of course, you got to have guys that are, well, building it. Well, what do you think? These cars came out great. I love them. Let's only hope that more of you guys out there want them. Because every time we have new people starting to make new products, well, then we get more products and more products. And these kits, paper kits, amazing. These are paper laser cut kits. Ah, oh, they came out so good. Well, thanks for joining me. I look forward to you guys coming back again. Have fun. See you guys. Bye.